Good afternoon, my name is Timur Kristof and I'm very excited today because I'm here to show you the first and foremost IRC client for Selfish OS. Let's tap the IRC icon and the app launches. It says pull down to add the network, so let's just do that. Pull down and in the pulley menu select add the network. We have a lot of defaults for you, so by default it'll connect to Freenode and uh, you also have a default nickname. But uh, let me change that for now uh, to my uh, usual nickname that I use on the YOLA. So let's uh, call it Venimo underscore J. So uh, I flicked left and the network is now here. And of course I can add multiple networks with multiple settings. And uh, on the welcome screen I can choose uh, which one I want to connect to. So let's now choose that one and let's flip left to connect. So uh, you can see that it already uh, received some stuff from Freenode and the glow here is pulsating which means it's connecting. So uh, now it's connected and uh, this is the stuff uh, that's, uh, that the server sent us and as you can see uh, when you are scrolling these little buttons show up so you can use them to quickly jump to the top or to the bottom of the screen. So on the top you have a pulley menu with options for clearing all messages and the about box and on the bottom you have options for joining a channel, opening a query or connecting to a new network. Now connecting to the new network will show you the exact same thing that you've seen before so Let's now just uh, join the channel. And of course, if you are into the YOLA, I definitely recommend that you join the YOLA mobile channel. So let's go there. And uh, right now we are on the channel already. So uh, as you can see, there are already some people there who are there and chatting. And if I flick right, it shows me the channel switcher. So uh, there is the other connection which I'm not connected to right now and there are no channels there and there's this one uh, to which I'm connected and uh, there is this one channel which I'm on right now. So let's join a couple more. If you're a developer on the platform I definitely suggest joining Selfish OS because that's an awesome channel where everybody discusses stuff about Selfish OS and uh, let's also join the official channel for this app, which is Communi. So uh, right now, if I flick right, you can see I'm on three different channels now. And uh, this one is highlighted because there are some new messages on the channel. And uh, another handy feature is if I flick left, it shows me uh, the user list of the channel that I'm currently on. So uh, this is a very good, very natural extension to the default pulley menus on the YOLA and uh, I think this is really something unique, something that you don't see in every app here. So if I go to YOLA uh, you can see that the app keeps track of read and unread messages. So uh, there's this little subtle line there and you can see that the color of the times are different. So these are the new messages that I got since the last time I switched away from the channel and these are the older messages that I received before switching away from the channel and of course if I switch away to a different channel and uh, someone writes something on the channel then uh, there's once again the little subtle line and there's there are the new messages. So, uh, by the way, if I swipe away, uh, let me show you the cover of the application. So the cover shows you the number of current unread highlights in the application. A highlight could be a highlight on an actual channel, or it could be a query that you received from someone. So for a test, let's send myself a message. And as you can see, it pops up a notification in the operating system. 
which I can also see if I go to the notification screen. But generally, uh, if I just go back to the app, it will uh, show this uh, left glow in red, which means that if I flick right, I, I can see that there is a new query from Venemo. So uh, yeah, that, that's myself from the laptop. Okay, so uh, if I once again swipe away from the app, you can see that the cover not only shows the number of hundred highlights that I have, but it also shows the latest activity, which means uh, the list of channels and queries from which I received the messages, uh, the last ones. So uh, the last one is first in the list and so on. So it's very handy because it provides at a glance information for you. So if you are in a different application, let's say the music player, and you want to know if you got something on IRC, then you can just peek and on the home screen you will see the actual stuff in the IRC client without having to switch to it. So this is very handy. And now once again, let me go back and uh, let me show you something nice. So uh, there's uh, the text box in which you can say hi to the channel. So let's send some message. And, and now let me show you a nice feature, which is auto completion, which works for commands like join or query or other uh, commands. And uh, we also have auto completion for nicknames on the channel. So I can like say, uh, send smiley to JP Nermi or, or everyone else. And that's how it works. So uh, it's very useful because uh, it will list the users first who had the latest activity, which means if you have many users whose name starts with the same letter, it will suggest uh, the last one which sent a message on the channel that you're on. So uh, that's how it works. Um, and now uh, I have to show you one more thing, which is the about box. Because this application was developed by the three of us, JP Nermi, myself, Timur Krzysztof and Robin Burchell. And uh, the awesome icons that you see are the works of Stefan Bayarle and Stanislaw Duck. So thanks for everybody for their contributions to this application. It was a very nice collaboration experience. And uh, if you are into IRC and you use Ayola, I definitely suggest that you check out this app. And of course, if you're interested in what's happening, follow us on Twitter.